What's the schedule like? How's it, how's it been for you? Uh, it's good, man. It's football, you know, getting into it, get, bringing the young guys to learn, learning the new system. But, I mean, overall, we got some talented guys. It's camp. I think we're going to have a good team. Yeah. You've played for Chris Jones before. Have you played with many of the guys on this team before? Uh, Swerve. I want to say Kyra Moore, um, AC Leonard. Yeah, I played with a couple guys yeah. on the team, so we used to each other. We get along well, so we so, always seem to be clicking like so. The uh, the rookies are the hopefuls. They got a rookie camp, so they got three days on the field. So this is what day eight for them. It's day right. five for vets. Right. As a vet, when you're not on the field as long as they have been, like how do you compensate for that? Because I, I, I I'm looking at you right now. You look tired. So <laughs> it's football, you got to. I mean. I, for me, I just give everything I got out of yeah. here. So, I mean, you know camp going to be the hardest part. You can get through this camp then, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. It's Coach Jones, so you know it's going to be hard. But at the end of the day, like, I know they tired because if they was here after our day one and if they was like that and they had three days by themselves with him, so you can only imagine how they went through it. So, I mean, for us vets, it's just like getting back in the groove, getting your feet under you, like putting them in the right positions because – I'm not coming into a, like something that I gotta relearn. It's I know it, so mm -hmm. trying to get them to come along a little faster is more the rookies. Or the rookies have to spend more time studying the playbook, so they don't get as much sleep either, right? Right, right. <laughs> we 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 do a lot of communicating in the defensive back room, so especially with Coach Jones yeah. being the coordinator. So yeah, there's a lot of new faces in that defensive backfield. Veteran guys. You guys have been most of you guys have been around for a while, and you can you can play the game. How tough of it is it to just get all everybody get everybody on the same page and get that communication going so that you're successful? Uh, that's that's what comes with being a vet. Like the majority of these guys, like Ed Gainey, we play together with Jones, so it's just like bringing the, the younger guys on so they can understand where we're coming from. And with that, that's that's with with a lot of uh, rewards comes a lot of responsibility. So that's just us bringing them along. If we can get them to come along, then we'll be able to gel all together. Is it incumbent on a defense to set the tone? And, Maybe this is a silly question because Chris Jones is your defensive coordinator, but it seems like he wants the defense to really say it's going to be a tough night, and then it feeds off into the other phases. You you know that, like you know what he bring bring certain guys in for. So he want dogs out there, and, and that's what it is. Defense wins championships. We set the tone, and we want everybody to play like we play. Yeah. How important is it for you to come in? Because I, I talked to Ed Ganey about this because you know he, he knows you, and he said what well, Luchez is going to do is do two things bring production on the field but bring that leadership and also it's going to keep it loose and he's going to have fun with people how important is that for you you got to have fun i've been doing this a long time you can't be uptight because once you get uptight you start making a lot of mistakes as long as you're listening and locked in and just me more for me to be vocal like i'm normally mm -hmm. just out here playing ball like i'm the ball player like you turn the lights on you see luchez flying around mm -hmm. now i want to be a leader i want to bring these guys along because i ain't gonna be here long yeah. But as long as I'm here, if I can bring them along, we're going to have some good ball players. We're going to have a great, great football club. Yeah. To Morley's question, what is it like to have one way you look at Aaron, Aaron Grimes, you look the other way, there's Ed Ganey, and you got a couple of hopefuls in the middle there. But having those two other veterans in the That's secondary. love. Like, that's love. Like, when you know you got two guys on the outside that know their job and they're going to do their job at a, at a high productive level, then you know you can, I can, you can bring these other guys along. Mm -hmm. You know you got two shut down corners out there. You got a free safety that's gonna communicate. I'm like the quarterback back there. So, do you do you want to? Do you need to play more snaps in preseason to make sure you guys are ready because of the situation you're in with all the new guys? More snaps? Uh, I'm just ready to hit somebody other than my teammates. To be <laughs> honest, I've been waiting on this for about two months now. I get I get bored sitting at home. I'm I'm excited to see them though. Like so, you know he don't take us the first game so. I'm excited to see what they do when, when the bullets actually fly. Thankfully, you don't have to wait too long until you yeah, get in action. Exactly. So, <laughs> so that's going to be fun, yeah. especially here. Look at it. It's beautiful. Sure is. It is indeed. Okay. All right. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate yes, it, man. Good All to right. see y'all. Nice to see you, fun. man. Okay. Nice to meet y'all. Later.